We're joined this morning by Representative Pat Heinert, the former Burley County Sheriff, now in the middle of his second legislative session. Good yep. morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Uh, now, first of all, tell us, uh, it was at the end of last year that you retired as Sheriff, uh, and you just hopped right into the, the session, right? Took two days off and we started session, yes. <laughs> so it hasn't been much of a break yet for Not you? Not much, no. Okay, very good. And you're uh, working on a number of things there at the legislature. One of them uh, is uh, an effort to bring uh, prisoner of war and missing in action flags to the state capitol to, to be flown at the grounds there, right? Uh, tell me about this. This is a bill you introduced? It, it's a bill we introduced. Uh, it's a true ground level bill because it came to us from uh, a group of veterans who live in the Bismarck Mandan area, most of whom um, were deeply involved in the building of the wall, the memorial wall down at the uh, Veterans Memorial Cemetery. Mm -hmm. um, it came from them. They felt like it's necessary that they show the POW flag daily at the Capitol grounds um, to show support to the families and uh, people who know or still know people who are still missing in action and or could possibly still be prisoners of war. And now what's the status of that bill? How's it looking right now? Um, it, it's over in the Senate side right now. Um, they are, my understanding is they're going to make some amendments to narrow the scope down. Um, so it's only flown in two locations on the Capitol grounds. That's the Veterans Memorial um, location and in front of the Heritage Center. And the intent of the bill initially was as we fly it at all locations at the Capitol grounds. Mm -hmm. um, the veterans really wanted it in front of the Capitol on a daily basis. Um, right now it's only flown, I believe, seven times a year out there. Um, so um, it'll be interesting to see what it, happens. It'll be interesting to see exactly. Yeah, okay. um, I've talked to a couple of senators over over the weekend and last week, and uh, we're trying to get that amendment stopped. But I think the amendment's going to go through, so it's probably going to end up in a conference committee. Sure. So the things could uh, change in conference there near the end yes. of the session. Okay. Uh, now you're also the prime sponsor of a bill that would allow for armed first responders in in schools. Can you tell us about this? Uh, w was this uh, an idea of yours, and, and how did it? come about? Uh, well, last session this idea kind of floated out there. There was a similar type bill out there um, in reference to this, but it really came about from my sheriff's days and knowing that um, we have schools um, all over the state of North Dakota that there's no law enforcement that are really close by them. Mm -hmm. And so my, th my thought was is um, if we could provide some form of a certified trained person who maybe is already at that school or, or maybe is a neighbor of the school or bus driver or something along those, li those lines um, that we can get trained and certified and uh, teach them how to handle a gun and teach them how to, to control a, a room. Um, we would have at least some reaction to an incident, incident within the school where somebody came in with a weapon. And how's that bill looking? Uh, what's the status on that one? So far, um, that passed the House and it's over in the Senate. Um, Senator Shively, the head of the Education Department, is kind of spearheading that one over there for us. And um, it looks pretty promising right now, I think. Okay. Very good, and now you have uh, uh, you know uh, a lot to still get to. Of course, we're already running out of time to talk this yeah. morning. But if if someone wants to talk to you about any of the bills you've introduced or anything like that, what should folks do? Uh, the easiest way to get a hold of any legislator at this time of the year, because we're bouncing around and running around, and we mm -hmm. can't have our cell phones on during session, all those things. Sure. Um, so the easiest way to get a hold of us is through our email addresses. Um, just about every legislator is constantly checking their email addresses, and those are listed on, uh, if you go out to the Gov legislative website, mine's listed on there right now. You can contact me at any time. We respond to those all, all the time, all weekend, evenings and holidays and weekends, so it's, we're there most of the time on those it, email yeah. addresses. That's the easiest way to get all of them. a lot of buzz on your, your phone, I bet, for email notifications. Yes. Okay, Representative yes. Pat Heiner, the Republican out of Bismarck, thanks for being here this morning. Thank you. And